Okay, if you watched my last video, you saw how I used a spreadsheet to lay out the measurements for the socket organizer. Now, I'm going to use SketchUp to lay out all these measurements to make sure they fit on a certain size of wood. Since this is just going to be 2D geometry, I don't really need the 3D functionality of SketchUp. So, I'm going to go up, select Parallel Projection, and do a standard top-down view. Now this is just going to be looking directly from the top. So, I know from my spreadsheet that my center lines need to be these dimensions. To start off with, I'm going to use the tape measure tool. So I'm going to hit letter T to bring up tape measure. And I'm just going to drop some reference lines. I need to go from the edge of a board to my first mark. So I'm going to go just 30 millimeters. Zoom in here. Alright, from this line I can start laying out my center line measurements. My first one is 51 and a half, 48, 44, So I'm going to finish laying these out on down the line, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got all my measurements laid out. Now I need to draw a component that's just going to act as my center mark. To do this, I learned this little trick from Jay Bates. So I'm going to draw a vertical line, 8 millimeters long and then draw a horizontal line, 8 millimeters long. And now I'll select one, and move it on top of the other. Line them up at midpoints. And now I'll select the whole thing, hit G to make a component. And now I want to rotate this 45 degrees. Now these will just be used as my center marks. So I can grab these and move it to my first cross hatch. So this is my first mark. Now with this selected and with the move option you can hold control, select your point that you want to grab onto and that will copy it. And I'll just do this on down the line. Now realistically, this is all I need, just these center marks, but it's kind of hard to look at like this. So, just to make sure everything works out properly, we'll actually draw these in here. So, I'm just going to draw some circles, 22 and a half radius, next one, 21 radius, go. That's my last one. Now, is it really 8 millimeters between them? Hit T for tape measure. And point to endpoint. There we go. 8 millimeters. Did I actually get a 45? I did. This next one, 42? Yep. So there we go. That's my layout. The only problem with this is from one side to the next, 502 millimeters, so that's like 20 inches long. I don't want mine to be that long. So, I'm going to select everything and move it up a little bit. And let's see if I can cut this maybe in half. So I've got 13 sockets. I'm going to go with, get those four, five, six. We'll take these seven. I'm just going to move them down. And then, while I've got them all selected, I'm going to hit Q to rotate. I'm just going to rotate these 180 degrees. 
move them again, and I can just kind of put them close. Now, if I want to maintain the spacing, I can drop a reference line here, and then drop a line 8 millimeters from that. So that'll get all of my sockets on one piece of wood. I've got all the center lines marked and the center points marked. And that'll be good. Now, now what do I do with it? So I've I've got it drawn on the computer, but well, in SketchUp you can print the scale. Depending on the size of your project, it may or may not work. The trick is to zoom in as much as possible. Now, I'm go up to page setup. I want to make sure I'm on landscape. I've got my correct paper size selected. And then print preview. I want to uncheck fit to page and uncheck use model extents. I want to make sure that my scale is one to one and now I can do a preview. And see that's not going to work because it's trying to stretch it across two pages. So what happened here? Let's fit to page. Let's try that. And here I can see I'm only going on one page. I'm still one to one. There we go. Might be a little outside of the margins, but it'll work. So now I can just print this out, go out to the garage, start drilling some holes. Hop on over to the next video to check out how I put it together, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.